Hi friends, it's Liz here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share a quick video, some happy mail that I received from some lovely friends, and then a new item that I'm really happy about that I'll probably be using a lot to um, write my letters when I'm sending snail mail. So I hope you enjoy the video, find some inspiration from my lovely friends that have sent me some uh, happy mail and um, yeah let's get started so this first happy mail not happy meal happy mail comes from my friend Tammy hi Tammy now she did send this to me a little while back of course you all know what I went through recently so um, I have not been making many videos for that reason but I did want to share her lovely package um, she's been working a lot on making things look very vintage so I'm going to start off with this lovely piece of um, invoice paper. You can see that it looks so vintage and grungy. This is all her work that she's made. She did, um, I believe, see a, a few videos uh, on how to make things look very vintage, and she got inspired to do that. Of course, we've been um, also doing a lot of... Um, creating inspired by angie if you don't know who that is she's not on social media um angie just randomly sends some mail to um you know friends or people that she finds on youtube or social media and if you get a package from her it's amazing she does everything vintage looking um so anyways that's the inspiration that we've had from all these pieces that we've been making and this is what um, tammy has shared with me so this is um a vintage looking postcard i love the vintage tape um, that she has uh, made for it I'm just gonna go through these ones a little I love these uh, faux um, you know old letters now I have some on my um, on my channel not on my channel I have some in my shop uh, that you can print out and of course you can make them look just as grungy and beautiful as she has made these ones I love how these turn out and I guess while I have you just a quick update um, about my shop what I've done right now is I've transferred most of my digital prints to my coffee shop and I've left items that need to be mailed out in my actual um, shop like listapaperproject.com so um, I'll be able to kind of you know use both of course but i'm hoping to kind of leave digitals all in one place and then use the other um site to you know maybe do kits and do um you know if i'm doing um these stashes and that sort of thing i'm going to be putting those there so hopefully um it works out if at any time you see anything that i'm selling and it happens to not be in the shop just send me a quick email um, i may not have listed it yet or I may have put it in one of the shops that you might not have a link to. I know, I'm trying to, um, you know, figure this out a little bit better. Okay, so I think these are my favorite ones. See how, if you could feel this, like even the papers she uses, she says she finds random, you know, papers at thrift stores and that sort of thing. And then she'll just kind of print on them and, and make them look so grungy and, and old. Oh, look at them. Truly, if anyone were to go through... Um, you know, a little box of these goodies, they would not be able to tell if it was real or not. Um, I guess unless they're experts in this, but I'm, I, it started making me think about, you know, um, how future generations will be finding some of these items that we've created, thinking that it's such vintage documents and it's actually, you know, photocopies of things that we made look vintage. You know, it makes me wonder, why are some of us so in love with vintage and antique yet for mostly women we're kind of told to stay young and not show a wrinkle makes no sense to me anyways back to this that's just my little something that's been <laughs> that we've been talking about with my siblings lately okay so here um i love this again i love the way that um she's tied them and i know that um I've seen many, many people start kind of doing the fake document sort of uh, binding for things. And it just looks so cute. I absolutely love it. So that's another one that she did there. 
I love all these as well. Look at that, right? You would think it's like a this gorgeous 1901 paper. And then she did this one here as well. Now, for this one, I love, like, even this right here. Look, there's a pin that's kind of, like, coming out now. Oopsies. So there's a pin that she kind of put in here. I'm going to try and, and put that back in. Now, um, I do have a question for those of you that like to make um you know paper clips and clips look a little bit distressed and, and kind of like um rusty what do you use to make them look rusty leave a comment below if you are one of those that um those creators that enjoys making things look a little rusty okay so i'm thinking oh look at that look how beautifully vintage she makes this whole thing look like even down to like a little bit tear here and a little fold and these vintage pieces that she's added. Now, this I recognize because it's from my wallpapers printable, my vintage French wallpapers printable. And so she's just added a little strip of it, which I think is just so lovely to sort of attach that together. And then this beautiful vintage looking document. I'm totally inspired by um, her work. So thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate it. And I, I really enjoy showing your goodies to everyone as well. So this was from, again, my friend Tammy. So I hope you are, you're all getting a little inspiration from this. All right, so the next thing I wanted to show you is this um, really lovely pen I received from Bastion. And um, they wanted me to review their pen. And of course, I was so happy to do it because I am very specific with pens that I like to use. Um, you know, mostly I like to have a special pen that I use when I'm writing to my pen pals or, um, you know, addressing envelopes for happy mail, that sort of thing. And so, you know, they asked me to select a pen and I decided to uh, select the this one, which is the carbon fiber and stainless steel pen in black. You can see how nice it looks. I love the design. It feels really good in your hands. This would make such a lovely gift for a special someone. Uh, you know, Father's Day coming up. It might be a little late by the time you see this video, but of course you can always let them know you purchased them a really nice pen. Um, this is something that I think, you know, will stay with um, the person that has it for a long time because it also has a lifetime warranty on it. Um, they did include the replacement ink cartridge, so thank you so much for that. And I will have a link to their shop below, as well as a coupon code for you to use if you decide to purchase anything in their shop. I believe they are in the U.S., so that will be, um, I guess, happy moments for my U.S. pals. All right, so what I decided to do is just quickly show you how I've been using it lately. Of course, um, in my planner, I've just been testing it out just in different paper and just different ways that um, I like to test on my pen. And I really do like how this one feels and it's just so smooth on the paper. So definitely a keeper for me. And I am so happy that they asked me to do this review. So thank you so much to Bastion. Um, for asking me to review it and of course for the coupon code for my viewers. I really really appreciate it. All right my friends let's uh, continue with the happy mail share. This next happy mail comes from my friend Brenda. Hi Brenda thank you so much my friend. Check out her channel I will link it below. She has some lovely creative ideas and um, she's just always uploading a video so go and check her out. So let me show you what she sent me. All right so she sent me this cute little postcard and then she's also sent me this um, really cute collaged time card and I like all the different textures oh my gosh that's like my favorite thing when you can just get different textures on things so thank you so much now this was part of like um just her sending me some happy mail it's not really a uh, anything that um that we were exchanging or anything like that so let me just try to not get myself all confused here she also sent me a package of embellishments how cute are these right so you've got all these different little labels and sentiments. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? 
she sent a couple of other goodies here. I've got another little postcard, super adorable. And then this really nice one. And here she's also made a double pocket. Um, she sent me these uh, canceled stamps. This is really cute. And this is also more canceled stamps. I absolutely love those. And then if you had not noticed, which I almost didn't see, is she added another tag. So this would be so perfect um, in a nice tall journal page. I think it would fit. Let me just... Now that I have it here, I've just been working on some of these. I thought I would. I thought I would check this out here. Will it fit? I think it's too wide for the tall one. Yeah. Okay. So it would be a regular journal. All right. Put that over there for now. So that was really nice. I could certainly put that in in one of the larger journals. And then she sent another really lovely collaged tag. I like that paper. These really great labels. And I like these little um, photo corners. Super cute. Thank you so much, my friend, for sending all these goodies. I just Things that I have not seen before. So it's so nice to, to get some new little bits to look at. <gasps> look at these. Aren't these fun? Oh my gosh. What would you make with these? Leave a comment below and let me know. I might get inspired to make something with them. And she's also made some lovely ATCs. I love her ATCs. Wait, I think I have it upside down. Yeah, like this. And I think, yeah, this one's like a little tuck spot. You can see a little bell there. And then she's made another one here with these lovely pieces. And then she sent me all these lovely ladies that I get to, to, um, to do something with oh this is like all from disney characters how cute are these oh my gosh thank you and then some journaling oh these are these feel like um like a sticker paper is it i hope i don't bend it yes sticker i can feel the difference of the sticker so thank you for those she sent me a little notepad and i like this idea i think she probably added a sticker or stamped on that that was really cute and we've got another lovely um, postcard with the flower fairies and a lovely little journaling card so thank you so much my friend oh my gosh this was so fun to go through I really appreciate it uh, and thank you all so much for taking the time to join me today I hope you found some inspiration I will have things linked in the description box below and if you have any questions just let me know thanks so much for stopping by